Hey everyone, Seth Campbell here. Welcome back to Segway Plays Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, we experienced my own personal pixelated hell. This infernal machine that prevented me from completing this game for years of my life that caused so much frustration and anxiety. I hate it. But it's done now, and we don't ever have to do it again. And that's good. So in this episode, we are going to continue exploring Frantic Factory as my blood pressure slowly returns to normal. Well, as I said, there are two other Kongs we want to bring up there. The first is the obvious one, is Diddy. Get those red bananas. Though I, th I feel like I probably could save this for later based on that banana port pad, but... Ow. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do that now. Just so I don't forget. And then... The other Kong we want to bring up here has to do with that cracked, rickety-looking gate over there. Because we saw the pristine gate in the upper tunnel on the other side of the lobby we needed to open ourselves uh, with a switch and, you know, do it the proper way. But that one looks kind of shoddy, and in fact, there's another one over there that looks pretty shoddy as well. Maybe we can take advantage of that. While we're here in the tag barrel, I actually want to note something. Now that we have all the Kongs, each one uh, is very eager to get to the spotlight. They're all pointing to themselves. I think I've pointed out that uh, the music changes instrumentation based on which Kong is highlighted. But if you select Chunky Kong, all of a sudden he gets stage fright. But, sorry Chunky, we need you. Because with these rickety gates, and I might as well do this one down here first, you can just punch him. Now there's another one of these uh, DK dirt panels, actually. I probably should have... could have done something about that already, but I didn't. But we'll just remember that it's here. Because I can't do anything about it right now. But we see a switch with Chunky's face on it. We can, much like the gate, primate punch that switch. It turns the lights on. Gets these platforms moving. Now the other thing is these boxes with question marks. I thought Chunky could punch those. Is it just uh Yeah, it's just a simian slam, okay. And this one, you have to press this switch to break. Now these platforms will not stay moving forever. As you see. But the banana will stay up there, the box will not reform around it, so you really just have to worry about the platform jumping. Oops. Oop. I'm not doing very well. I think I'm still just shell-shocked from all the frustration in the previous episode. With that particular... Ah, I was trying to jump around the zinger and it didn't work. That particular mini game that we shall not mention again. Let's see, can I do this? Especially because I don't even have a weapon, I can't really 
Take care of you guys, but there it is. Chunky's first golden banana. And with that, we are in business. And now that we know we can break these gates with Chunky. We go back up to this second floor area. And we can punch this gate. Pick up some coins. And there is a bonus barrel for us. Welcome to bonus day. Stash snatch. Say that six times fast. Collect all the coins, then head for the checkered flag. I believe this is the only time this particular bonus game appears. Some appear multiple times, others do not. Basically, there's this little mini maze. There are a few enemies in it. There are six coins, and you have to find all of them and then get to the exit. No, got to go the other way. This is definitely not the most difficult of the mini games. The only thing that can get you is the time if you get lost. There we go. And it's another golden banana. So now that we have enough coins to purchase another upgrade, I guess you could say, for Chunky. And we have not yet seen Funky in this world. I suggest we go to Candy's Music Shop. Let's see what instrument she has for Chunky. Triangle Trample! It's that instrument you give the one guy who really, really wants to be in band class but seems to have no aptitude for any musical instruments. So that's chunky for you. So now every Kong has their musical instrument. Chunky is the only one who does not yet have a shooter. Did I see another balloon floating around? I thought I did, but I guess not. Anyway, now that we opened the next path on the other side of the lobby, I believe they were Tiny Kong bananas that way, purple bananas. So if we follow this path, again, there's that little window there, but we can't get in there yet. Let's see if I can get rid of this zinger. I think these take two hits, unlike regular zingers. See, this is the... I'm trying to read that before it opens. I believe it says, yep, testing room. Let's see, are there purple bananas the other way too? No. What is this way, come to think of it? Uh, okay, this is another path, but we don't need to worry about that just yet.
The bananas do do a great job of indicating who you want to have going in what direction. Oh, there's that familiar sound again. And there is a green-haired Kasplat, which we now know will be for Chunky. Some lanky coins. I don't know why they had you lead here with Tiny, actually, but... Um, See, there are some extra chunky coins, which we'll need as well. Let's see, we could work with a lot of people here. I think I will start with Diddy. If I can just find a tag barrel, which I thought there would be one in here. Oh, hang on. I think there is up this way. Because this is also where Funky is. And this gets us to the arcade room, actually. Was that a purple balloon? Yes, it is. Now, let's switch to Diddy. Actually, let's do Chunky first. He can get some coins in the other room and get his shooter, and then everybody's all loaded up. That way, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, they, these can be a little tricky, these blocks, the way the tops kind of come down. Because, like, you don't fall into them if you stand underneath it. You just suddenly end up on top of the, uh, of the part that, uh, starts moving around. Anyway, let's get Chunky's first blueprint while we're here. And head back to Funky. And let's see what likely food-based projectile Chunky will be launching. It is, in fact, pineapples. Probably my favorite of all the things being launched. I love pineapples, especially pineapple juice. It's kind of a running joke. People laugh at me. I always order pineapple juice when we go out to dinner anywhere. But Chunky packing a punch and his ammo does the same. Oh, that's right. Okay, so Funky does have something else to offer, and any Kong can buy it. But since Chunky doesn't have enough extra coins, we can't do it with him right now. However, Diddy should. Yep. And since we are going to use him now, let's do this. Take a look at this ammo belt, Diddy. All you Kong dudes get to carry more ammo for just three coins. I take it you're interested? Or... Yes. Okay, Diddy, you're now maxed out at a hundred shots. Yep, so we now have double ammo. And that is going to come in handy, especially with all of these mechanical zingers that I keep missing. So, we saw these pads with Diddy's face on them, and... Cranky told us that we can now use these to jump very high. And we can climb this giant stack of toy blocks precariously piled in the middle of the room. And there's an extra 
banana bunch around on this corner. You gotta be a little careful getting to it. But you do want to get it if you can. And now this is curious. I don't know if this is actually a window out of the factory, but a, or like a carefully painted ceiling. But I'm gonna go with it's a window out, so there's a very starry sky above this place. And Diddy can jump all the way into a bonus barrel. Oh, a bonus this is Peril Path Panic. Shoot the clap traps to clear the fairy's path. Press A to fire a melon and shoot the melon to reload. Yes, so the banana fairy, which is what these things are called, will try to get to the far side, and if any of the clap traps are conscious, they will eat the fairy. So basically, as soon as you see a fairy appearing, you want to start shooting at these guys. And you have to get a certain number through. Uh, but I shot the wrong one twice that time, so it didn't. This is, this one's a little tricky. Basically, just try to keep as many of them KO'd as you can and prioritize the ones on the left because that's where the fairies first show up. That'll give you the time to notice which other ones are going to be a problem before the fairies get to them. And they... Fair, extra fairies keep getting eaten as the game ends. But there is Diddy Kong's first banana of Frantic Factory, and the first one to utilize the Simeon Spring. Now if we can get down from here without severely injuring ourselves, yep, that would be good. Now before we wrap things up, or continue to explore this room, You may remember when we looked at the other path, there were some red coins around that particular chute. Which would indicate that having Diddy go this way might be a good idea. This is actually one of two things. Oh, this isn't actually what I thought it was. But it activates this banana port pad and puts us next to Snide's HQ. And we actually have a pair of blueprints, and fortunately, the blueprints we have are of the two Kongs who have collectibles also appearing in this room. I don't know if they did it deliberately because of the linear nature of this uh, level, or if that's just a coincidence. But let's turn in these blueprints and get some bananas. And let's see what kind of overly complicated contraption Snide is set up in this world. A giant hand. Why he goes through all this trouble? I'll never know. Let's see how we're doing. We're doing okay on the blueprints. Now let's have Chunky hand over his first blueprint. And this banana port pad obviously takes us back to the control room in the lobby there. Truthfully, I can empathize with Snide on some level, or sympathize, I guess, because I also make things much more complicated than they need to be on a regular basis, although with me, it's rarely intentional. So that's very cool. You can now see uh, there's a blueprint in each row, so we can see the different colors of them, which I think is very pretty. And there was also, if you remember, a Chunky Balloon at the top of this chute, so we will go back up with Chunky. Gotcha!
All right, so we have done a fair amount in this episode. We've gotten quite a few bananas. We have handed over some blueprints. We have gotten Chunky, a musical instrument, and a shooter. And so with that, I think we will take a break here. And I will meet you back here in the testing room in the next episode. <laughs>